And today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can counter FPS drops or stutter here in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. I'm going to guide you through everything which could somehow cause these issues of having low FPS or even like FPS drops. We all know FPS drops are super annoying, so therefore I'm going to guide you exactly for everything you can do in order to find these issues on your PC. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get to this topic. And the first thing, guys, which you should definitely check is actually how much usable RAM you have on your PC. I'm not even joking, there are so many people who don't check previously before if they actually can utilize the full amount of their RAM. This can have multiple issues and most of the time if you have something like 4 RAM slots, you can just simply swap it out from the 1st and 3rd to something like the 2nd and 4th and your PC can utilize then the whole entire 16, 32 or how much gigs of RAM you actually have built in your PC. You can do a bunch of troubleshooting about that guys but this is definitely my first recommendation. Then for this next step what you actually want to do guys is head over to your storage settings. Just simply type in the storage into your Windows search bar and there you will see it. Once we're in here guys we will take a look at temporary files because in there are some very specific data which we actually have to clean up. Just simply let it load real quick in the background guys and there you should find our DirectX shader cache. Clean up files created by graphics system which can speed up application load time and improve responsiveness. They will be regenerated as needed so therefore what you want to do is make sure that those are checked 100%. You can also check all the other ones but we want to focus here mainly now on our DirectX shader cache and then click under remove files. Your shader cache now is fully cleared because there might be some issues with it which will cause stutter in every game you guys are playing because those files might be maybe interrupted which can cause you a huge FPS drops in Fortnite and the next time you reload into Fortnite actually itself they're gonna get regenerated again. Then this next up guys now we're going to take a look at my new updated FPS drops pack here in 2023 which you can of course get from my official website guys the link is in the description and they just simply gonna click on the top category to FPS boost and from there on you can get it. And this is the pack of today's video guys which I'm going to show you which will really utilize to fix any sort of FPS drops in Fortnite. Once you get the pack on your desktop guys first of all let's open up comments and open up the text prompt. In there now we have some of the most useful comments for our CMD and power shell which is going to help us to troubleshoot for any issues from our current PC. So therefore go into your Windows search bar, open up your comment prop as an administrator, put in the first comment and replace the last letter with your current drive on which you have Fortnite actually installed. For me it's C, so therefore I'm gonna put C on there. And now, it's, and now it's basically going to check the whole entire hard drive for any potential issues which could somehow cause the stutter or FPS drops. Now you can see the process is done and Windows has scanned the file system and found no problem so therefore everything is alright. Now we're gonna copy the second one guys which is FSC scan now. This one we're also gonna paste into our CMD and press enter and this is basically like a built-in mode from Windows directly to search for any corrupted files which could somehow interact with our Windows and therefore cause problems. A gaming VPN is actually the best method to reduce your ping in any competitive games you guys are trying to play and no ping would be my number one recommendation. They also have a built-in mode to reduce your input delay on any keyboard as well as some of the best core tweaks everyone should apply on the gaming PC. And with the code right now you're on screen you can even get 30% off and they have as well a 7 day trial version so therefore you can try it out and see if you like it. And of course guys the link is in my description. And then you can see finally Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations so therefore everything is alright again. Next up we have to open up our PowerShell and copy the following comment in here which we are then gonna paste into our PowerShell as well. Just simply search for PowerShell, run your PowerShell shell as an administrator and once it's opened up you're gonna paste the following comment in there and it's gonna scan again our PC for even more potential issues. This is basically another process as well on top to scan for even more interrupted files on our disk. Then we're gonna go back into the folder and click on to run with affinity and open it up and launch the exo. Depending on your CPU you have a certain amount of logical and virtual cores. For me you can see my maximum affinity is set to 32 because I have 32 threads on my Intel Core i9 13th gen. So what you want to do is click under select program and then find exactly where your Fortnite install. For most of the people right now it's going to be in program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game binaries and then Windows 64. And there you should find your Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exit. Make sure to select that one. And now we can actually change how many of our threads should work towards Fortnite and create a dedicated exit for our desktop. Make sure to select the highest affinity possible of your CPU which for me is 32 and then create a shortcut. Shortcut has been created successfully and now once we're trying to run Fortnite from this exit directly it's going to actually tell our PC to fully focus on Fortnite with our CPU power. This is super important that you actually launch the game from this exit from now on and it's a super easy step. You can use it as well for other games. And if you want to know the top 5 best resolutions for Fortnite in Chapter 4 Season 2 click on this video and here is another story video about Polarized and how he became a tier 1 pro.